Today I'm giving you a little window into my world as a digital nomad, specifically my desk setup, which is completely mobile. Over the years, I've tried different tools and setups and I've tweaked it for my needs. Today, I'm gonna show you my setup in hopes that you will find this useful. Now on this channel, I talk a lot about personal branding, social media, travel, and practical advice to looking good online. If those topics interest you, I'd love to have you around. Maybe even hit subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post next. Now onto my setup. And the question comes from Marty who asks, Phil, you're always on the road. What does your setup look like? That is a great question, Marty. That's exactly what I'm going to tell you about today. My setup is completely mobile. And today I'm going to give you a little tour piece by piece. And everything is linked in the description below. Most of these items you can find on Amazon, which is great. Now your setup is gonna depend highly on the nature of your work. I am a brand strategist, a podcaster, I film YouTube videos, so my setup is built around those needs. Now let's get started with the tour. Okay, first up, I wanna talk about my laptop stand, which is made by Next Stand. I'm a huge fan of this. It packs up really nice and small, and it is awesome to just carry around. It's also very lightweight, but still sturdy. I'm really happy with this because it mounts my laptop up nice and high. And the next stand is adjustable, which is even better. I pair my stand with a wireless mouse and a wireless keyboard, both made by Apple since I use a MacBook. All of these things I put directly into my backpack, which is super handy. Next, I like to have a little bit more screen real estate than just my laptop, so I use this handy monitor. This one is made by AOC, and I love it because it is USB-C, and it does not require additional power. The cover to protect it and keep it safe while you're traveling doubles as a mount. So literally, with magnets, you just pop it up like this, and you're set. In addition to headphones, I love having a wireless speaker, but one that's not too bulky. And my choice is the B&O A1. This speaker isn't the lightest thing on the market, but the sound quality is so, so good. It is totally worth the extra weight. This one I normally pack into my checked luggage, but it's honestly light enough that you could throw it in your backpack as well. Compared to other speakers on the market, this one is not that expensive and I highly recommend it. Now I'm sure all digital nomads can relate to the frustration of not having a reliable Wi-Fi connection. In another video, I talk more about this and I talk about my experience as a digital nomad living in Mexico and I'll link to that somewhere up here. One of the things I've learned along the way is that you don't need to rely on a Wi-Fi connection. With this handy USB-C adapter, you can plug it into a network cable which can go directly into the router and you don't have to worry about slower speeds via Wi-Fi. Obviously, if you're a YouTuber, you need a camera to film your videos. I don't use my iPhone. I use the Sony A5100, which is lightweight, handy because it has a flip up screen. The only thing I don't like about this is the sound quality of the microphone that's built into it. So I record my sound with another microphone directly into my laptop. I should mention I also have another camera, but since I'm recording onto it, you can't see it. That is a Canon T3i, and it's handy to have two separate cameras to get two different shots. Next, let's talk about tripods. Now I have two of them, and I'll explain why in a second. This tripod is made by Rangers, and it's not the cheapest one on the market, but it is arguably the most mobile. This tripod packs up super compact and nice, and it's nice and sturdy, which I like. One tripod is used to hold the camera that's recording this video, and the second one is used for my prompter. For my YouTube videos, sometimes I use a teleprompter and sometimes I don't. It just depends how comfortable I am talking about whatever the subject is. This prompter I've had for a number of years. I'll link in the description below to one that's very similar, but it's awesome because it works directly with my iPad and it folds up really simple, just like this. I recommend being very careful when you travel with this because it does have glass and if that glass is broken, it becomes useless. And obviously you also need to make sure that you use an iPad with a teleprompter software or app on it. In addition to the two tripods that I mentioned, I also use a Gorillapod, particularly useful for mounting a camera on a desk. I also mentioned that I'm a podcaster, so I love this handy base which comes apart and I bought on Amazon. This is handy because I prefer to use 
a high quality XLR microphone even when I'm on the road. The stand itself is heavy enough that your microphone won't tip over, but not too heavy that it's gonna weigh you down. Pro tip, I generally put the base on the outside pouch on my luggage. That way, if airport security wants to know what it is, they can check it right away. I definitely recommend checking this one because it is heavy. You don't really wanna bring this onto an airplane with you. The next thing that I travel with is this handy mouse pad. It is high quality and it is made by one of my favorite brands. Ugg Monk. You never really know what surface you're gonna end up working on, and I find that sometimes, for example, on glass, my mouse won't work. But with this, it always will. Finally, I keep all of my cords organized in this handy pouch. Again, I've linked to all of these items below if you're interested, and now I'd love to hear from you. Are you gonna check out any of these Digital Nomad Office essentials of mine? I would love to hear. Plus, is there anything missing from my Digital Nomad essentials list? Put it in the comments below. Next, I'm gonna put some videos that I think you're gonna find useful. I'm Phil, and I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Here's what's up next.